One man who did not compete in Lyon was eight-time World Cup champion Boyd Excel. The Australian has dominated the sport in recent seasons and will once again be the man to beat as he prepares his team for the upcoming campaign. As the standard has got higher and higher in the World Cup indoor driving, you know, it's the only the top ten in the world rankings do it, but everybody pretty much has specialist teams of horses and we're finding that actually it's harder to put a good indoor team together. Before you used to put sort of your old experienced outdoor horses to the indoor carriage, um, but now you need faster ones. They have to be sensitive, clever, uh, brave, they have to know their job. The outdoor horses generally have bigger movements, more power. Um, indoor horses are sharper, more receptive, uh, more sensitive. You know, so it is a different game, but driving is still driving. And top driving horses pull along top class carriages. Excel is proud of the carriage setup he uses to keep himself ahead of his rivals. This is a Van den Heuvel carriage. I don't give away too much on how I set my carriage up, but it is very difficult. We have rear wheel steering in our carriage and we have delayed steering. And what that basically means is when the carriage turns a corner, the delayed steering makes the front axle move to the outside. The rear wheel steering actually just makes the back axle stay in line with the front axle. This carriage is 600 kilogram. And uh, when a team of horses hit power in synchronization, this feels like a go-kart behind them. So the sensation you get from the team of horses is unbelievable. You know, the acceleration and the thrust, you need to rely on your good back steps, you know. I have Hugh Scott Barrett on the back and I know he uses his six feet height advantage and he puts it out the side door and I know when I'm going around a corner at full throttle, um, I can rely on him to be there. Boyd for Australia, eight time World Cup champion, five time world champion, including just in September this year at Tryon. First ever driving athlete to win the uh, FEI's Best Athlete Award. He won the Royal Windsor Horse Show this year. He won at home in Valkenswald, where he's based in the Netherlands, and a second place at Arkham. This is his first World Cup of the season. Takes the ball in the speed box. Now, is that going to be a problem? Boyd can often be two or three seconds faster than anyone else. We've said it before, we'll say it again. He is quite simply in a class of his own often, but here just struggling a little bit to get the leaders to pay attention to the way he wants to go through this first marathon obstacle. So he is scrubbing time and he has four to add. So going out wider than most, they've uh, snurgled their way through here to the E-control before now. So down a little bit on the clock, 62 seconds as he gets going. Both Eisbrand and Dobro were faster than that. He's a little bit tighter than some, though, coming back on his approach to the cone at seven. And of course, it makes great logical sense to go through the marathon obstacle on your way back to the bridge. It's the straightest line, but if you have a knockdown, you are penalized for it. Right over to the right-hand side, shaving every inch of this track. Ah, another ball. That's eight now to add for Boyd XL. Boyd, who was winner here last year alongside wins also at Stockholm and Geneva. Just really working his leaders hard there, the left leader, Banyok. Right leader, Neapolitano. 
Off he goes now towards home. Look at the time he's going to drive, though. It is not bad at all. But with eight to add, it's going to be down the order. 153.93 across the ground. And that means that Boyd XL, somewhat astoundingly, is not going to make the drive off. Into fourth at the moment. Guarantees no start in the drive off for defending champion Boyd XL here at Stuttgart. The unfortunate ball in the speed box. That forced me to go faster. Normally when I have a ball down, I can dig deep, go a bit faster and still come out on top, um, but not, uh, not today.